You're pretty good though, dude. Oh my god. Damn, I had to be- Alright guys, so today I'm going to talk about why high sensitivity actually destroys your movement and makes you a worse player when it comes to moving really good. And this might seem extremely contradictory to what everyone else says because everyone's like, alright, well if I just go to my settings real quick, right, and turn up to really high sensitivity, well then I'm going to be able to look faster. And if I look faster, then that means that I would be able to theoretically move faster because now I'm looking all over the place. And if I control my movement and just get used to it, then I'll have the best movement possible. And this isn't the case. Now I'm not saying to switch to two sensitivity like I am. Um, I'm not even saying to switch to four. You could play six, six, eight, eight. Um, when I say low sense, I'm just saying like anything probably like 9 or lower or 10 or lower because I do think that if you're playing on 13, 16, 20, 18 around those ranges, it's an un not only is it unnecessary, but it's hurting your movement. And I'm going to explain too. So the big advantage that high sense does have is yes, you could turn fast. So let's just say someone's over here, right? If I'm on a higher sensitivity, I'm going to be able to look to the left, run over here, then immediately look to the right and then run over there. But you got to understand too that you know you're human your mind can't process things super fast and if you're playing on a 20 sensitivity it's going to be nearly impossible for you to have exact perfect movement every single time when you're looking at left and right and moving all over the place it's not needed now on top of that too your character doesn't move faster like he's not running faster if you're on a higher sensitivity it's the same exact sprinting speed as if you're on a lower one um and when it comes to turning corners too um <clears throat> it doesn't matter how fast you turn this corner it matters how accurate you can turn the corner and cut the corner like this so that you can be the fastest you possibly can be um so people who play on like a 15 or an 18 sensitivity if they're turning the corner over here usually what they tend to do is this and then turn over here and then walk this way so they're like going over here, turn super fast and go over here. Whereas if you just go and cut it like this, or even if you don't slide, if you cut it like this, you're getting there as fast as you possibly can. The reason why I'm a bit big advocate against high sensitivity is because you overcompensate a lot, whether it's your aim, whether it's your movement, every single thing. And the more you are inaccurate in your movement and your aim, the worse you're going to be as a player because you're going to be messing up. You know, I'd rather have, you know, simple, consistent movement patterns over and over that's going to help get me the most kills. And I can actually see my opponents because my screen's not flopping all over the place. Um, <clears throat> then be on a super high sensitivity that I cannot control. And it's just going to mess everything up overall. And even a lot of professional players who play like six, six, seven, seven, things like that, right? They all have insane movement and they're not playing anything above 10. They're not. Uh, at least the majority of them like let's just say there's like once in a blue moon there's like a pro player who uses 13 great he's using 13 but anything above that is just not needed on top of everything i just said too you don't really use your left stick for movement as much as you would if you're playing on a lower sensitivity all right and you don't want to rely on your movement totally being from the right stick so that means like if i'm slide canceling right and then i pop up over here what I'm doing is in the middle of my slide, I'm rotating my left stick up and then to the left so that I can have um, more rotational aim assist popping out like that. All right. And if I'm on a, like a higher sensitivity, if I'm sliding, usually I'm going to slide right here and then just look over here like that. That's what most players tend to do. You could say like, oh, I'm a high sense player and I don't do that. But this is what most high sense players i'm talking about like the majority of them right that's what they tend to do and it's easier to do that and when you do that you lose out on the rota rotational aim assist and not only is your movement messed up because you're sliding and immediately snapping like this but your aim is going to be messed up because you're not centered right um like i said you're not getting that rotational aim assist in so you're just going to be using that one aim assist and it's just going to mess you up like that so this is why i really don't suggest playing high sensitivity at all not just because of the aiming part, but it does hurt your movement and you have to rely more on, I guess your brain being extremely fast 
and the right stick a lot more than using both sticks at the same time and getting that rotational aim assist. Now, another interesting uh, uh, thing I want to say too is most people play high sensitivity because they want to react faster, correct? They want to react faster and be able to shoot faster, maybe do some movement faster and things like that. So you should not be targeting your high sensitivity or sensitivity and making it higher, but instead you should be targeting your dead zone because your dead zone is the thing that's going to make you react a lot faster than everybody else. You know, a lot of people are playing 0 0.06, 0 0.08 dead zone, 0.20 dead zone with the seven, eight, nine sensitivity. And I am outperforming them like crazy with my reaction speed by playing zero dead zone and two sensitivity. All right, so if you want to get faster reactions, you know, get equipment that's going to give you lower input delay and play on lower dead zone instead of relying on just upping your sensitivity to 20, thinking you're going to be the fastest player in the entire game. Also, I am going to be streaming on Kick soon when I do start my live stream, so you guys can catch me on there. And you can join the Discord for um, just connecting with other people. If I ever go live or anything like that, you can get notifications for that. And any of my services that you are interested in getting, you can find them on there. And also looking for people to push out uh, my services. So if you guys want to make some quick money, you can do that as well.